Okay, let's get started. And uh, last time we stopped it here, uh, we just uh, derived, I think we derived the change of coordinate for, uh, for twist. Okay, let's uh, briefly recall what twist really means. And uh, I think maybe some of you still got confused about the spatial velocity, the, the concept of twist. And twist is basically, I want you to, uh, uh, let me just jump to here. I want you to think of twist as a parameterization of all the linear velocities on the body. Okay, the things I, I, I think everyone need to keep in mind is that you have a rigid body. Uh, let me see whether you can. You have this rigid body and there have infinitely many of points. Okay, all of them have different velocities. Okay? And we need to seek for a, a parameterization that can represent all of these uh, uh, linear velocities, okay? And the representation is represented by two things. One is you need to know one body fixed point linear velocity, which we call the reference velocity, let's say V of P. Later we call it, uh, let's say V of R, the reference velocity, okay? And also you need to know uh, the, angular, uh, the, the angular velocity. After you know these two things, all the other points on the rigid body can be written, uh, the, its linear velocity can be written as the linear velocity of the reference point plus uh, omega cross this, uh, uh, this uh, from the reference to the point, the vector, okay? If you choose the reference point as the origin of the frame, then this will become the coordinate of the point. Okay, and uh, one thing I think I, I have to rem remind you or explain a little bit more is, uh, let me move this around. Hold on. Uh, where I should move it here. Okay, that's good. Uh, one thing I have to remind you is that this body fixed point, okay, VR is the reference point, is the velocity of a body fixed point. It's not a velocity of the reference point. Okay, it's the body fixed point currently coincide with R. That's the key thing that. Uh, may you may need a few uh, example to truly understand that part. Okay, we gave an example, uh, two examples here and the other one, which is the car. Uh, then we derived, based on the definition, we derived the change of coordinate for twist. And uh, it's the formula is like this, okay? Uh, that's where we stopped last time. Um, let's use this change of coordinate to review or revisit uh, the same example here. Uh, let me just uh, write on top of a previous slide, which is this, okay? Uh, before we computed the two things, right? One is uh, V top of O, that means the spinning top spatial velocity or twist uh, expressed in O coordinates, okay? And the other one is the twist in A frame, in A frame. And these two actually, of course, we derive them not through the change of coordinate. We just derive them based on selecting different coordinate system and from the plane definition of twist. Let's uh, let's see how these two are related. If we we have learned this uh, change of coordinate, right? We know V A and V O should be related by uh, V A. Uh, the v a uh, x a o times v a should be v of o. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the relation we just derived last time, and this one should be a six by six matrix, and this guy is the twist is in R six, right? Is R six, and this is the twist in R six. Okay. Let's take a look of this. I don't want to derive them or compute them. Let's use MATLAB. So through the course, I may use Python or MATLAB, uh, whichever is more convenient for me to explain the ideas. So uh, for this example, I pre-entered all these numbers. I think in this case, R is, uh, this will be, I'm going to ask you guys, okay? For them, what is this R? This R, right? This R should be R A in O. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so 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 it's R A in O. So R A in O would be 
let's think. Uh, I mean, RA is the orientation, okay? Orientation of A frame with respect to O. So the X coordinate is actually the Z direction of the O frame, right? So in this case, uh, the, the first column would be 0, 0, 1, right? That should be the case if you look at this 0, 0, 1. If you look at the whole matrix, that's the case. Okay, I think I answered this correctly. And the P is the uh, A, OA, the origin of the A frame in the O frame. So that would be, uh, it's, I think it's along this direction that has a point 0 0.04 meters. That will be uh, 0, 0, 0.04 and O, okay. And I'm using the modern robotics uh, package. I don't think it can be called package. It's just nothing but, uh, if you look at this, uh, let me think. If you look at those uh, files, if you can download this from modern robotics codes. And uh, I think which one I use, trans, uh, this is RP to trans, very simple. I think you can program by yourself. It's just given R, given P, you construct a homogeneous matrix correspond to the orientation. Okay, that's exactly what we learned from last time, the homogeneous transformation matrix. Okay, so I just call that, which is a little bit more convenient, but not necessary. Um, then I have a twist in A, which is we 50, 0, 0, 0, 0, all the way 0. That's what we computed last time. Uh, this is a 50, 0, 0, all the way 0. And the other one is twist in O, is 0, 0, 0052, uh, 0, 0, I think that's correct, right? Then we run this, and also we have the, uh, the this one, okay? Change of coordinate from A to O, and which is nothing but the adjoint of T. Don't, as I mentioned before, this is really a uh, group or lead group thing, but we don't need to worry about this term, adjoint operator, all we need is to uh, basically saying that this is a, a matrix that you can obtain once you give T, which is R and P. If you look at this, uh, uh, I think I can construct this. If you look at this file, it's nothing but R zeros, and this is school symmetric matrix times R and R, which is nothing but the formula we derived here. Okay, R and R, P, a skew symmetry matrix constructed from P and R. Okay, uh, all of these functions, we can, uh, let me say, run it. I think that's the change of coordinate matrices. If you type, let's say, X from A to O, uh, let's see, yes, that would be that times from A to O, then I would test the twist in A, then I would obtain twist in O, all right? Uh, I need to move you guys away. Um, that's 0, 0, 0052, which is this one, all right? I numerically verify this, and also we derived it before, okay? <clears throat> okay, let's go back. I think that's enough, any questions? All right, that's good enough for uh, twist. And now let's uh, move to the very, very uh, important concept, which is called screw motion and the screw axis. And before we enter, before we jump into that, uh, let me let me give you some analogy. So why we need a screw axis? Okay, uh, I think we can write here. Okay, let's recall. Mm, Let's recall some basic fact that maybe uh, everyone would be agree upon. Okay, we will we, we'll agree upon. Okay, uh, for example, let's say linear velocity. If I say I have a linear velocity v equal to one, two, three, uh, let's say two dimension, or let's say one and two. Okay, you view that as a velocity, right? And the velocity has two things. Basically, you would say uh, it tells you something, which is uh, the norm of V 
which is the absolute speed, okay, and times the direction. The direction here would be, uh, let me write it, it's an, I'll call it V hat, okay? That's a unit vector represented the linear velocity direction, just telling the direction. And this guy tells you how fast you're moving along that direction. Okay, in this case, this one, uh, I think it's a square root of five times uh, one over square root five and uh, two over square root five, right? Um, correct me if I my calculation is wrong. Okay, um, I think that's basically tells you a direction and a speed. Okay, this is a scalar quantity tells you how fast you move along that direction. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing that you are familiar with is uh, angular velocity, right? Angular velocity. Uh, which we typically write this omega, right? That could be R2 or R3. And this guy is, I would say, uh, I can write like omega hat, which is a unit direction that tells you the, the rotation axis direction times theta dot. That's our convention, right? Theta dot, again, here is a scalar quantity. telling us how fast uh, this rotation rotates around that axis omega hat. Okay, that's something we have picture in mind, right? Um, let me close this using too many resources. Uh, this guy is rotation axis. Axis, which is unit vector. Okay, telling you how uh, the direction of the rotation. Okay, so all the linear velocity and angular velocity that we are familiar with is basically a direction vector and times a scalar vector, a scalar, right? The scalar really tells you how fast you move or rotates about that direction vector. That's the convention we're thinking about. Uh, what about the rigid body velocity? Rigid body rigid motion okay rigid body velocity <clears throat> velocity and we say this is the twist right we, we introduced the twist before this twist which is v and omega or omega and v and uh, i think if you still remember we say this is nothing but you can think about the body is rotate about an axis in the direction of omega and that axis passing through the horizon. And also, the horizon also moves, and also moves at the linear velocity v. So basically, you have two things, right? You have a rotation of the bow axis, and the axis is also moving. You see what I mean? It's hard, I mean, we would like to have analysis like before, like this. We want to have one directional axis. Okay, and a scalar quantity tells you how fast you're moving along that direction. We don't want two things. Here is two things, right? Linear velocity along certain direction, there's speed, and angular velocity is also a, a, a direction and a speed. There's a two things, right? We want one thing. We want one directional axis, and then a scalar quantity quantify how fast you move along that direction. Okay, that brings us to this uh, screw motion. I will call this, a um, uh, let me let me briefly explain. Roughly speaking, I will call this a standard 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 motion, okay, or canonical motion that we can think about or picture in our mind. Uh, standard motion or standard uh, standard uh, reason or canonical. That's my term, okay? It's not a textbook. It's just a normal or standard canonical motion uh, for rigid body uh, motion or velocity, okay? Let's, uh, let's briefly 
see what's the formal definition about screw X and the screw motion. We all know screw, okay? Screw is just, uh, it's just like this, right? And uh, <clears throat> if you rotate the screw, it has two things, right? One is rotation. The other one is if you rotate, it will move along the rotational axis, okay? It's had a linear motion and uh, angular motion are combined together, okay? But one action. The action is a rotate. And if you rotate it, the whole thing not only rotates, but also moves, has a linear component of the motion, right? And uh, the linear motion and the angular motion is determined by the pitch, okay? It's, uh, it's the ratio, okay? It depends on this pitch. Um, so there's half, so, so, so a screw motion can be mathematically can be characterized by three things. One is a point on the screw axis, and the other one is uh, the square axis direction, is, which is x as hat. Uh, typically, when we have a hat, uh, we often refer to that uh, that's a union vector that tells you the direction. Okay, and we also have a this uh, scalar quantity tells you the pitch, which is the linear speed divided by angular speed. Okay, uh, <clears throat> that's axis, and the rotation speed is theta uh, dot. Okay, so um, what do I mean by pitch? That means if I'm rotating at theta dot speed, then each time theta dot will be my linear uh, velocity traveling along that screw axis. Any questions so far? It's very uh, intuitive, right? And the key is that, why we can't standard, okay, or canonical, the key is the following. Every rigid body motion can be realized by a screw motion. So it's a, a unified way that we can picture the, the rigid body velocities. If you throw a football, right, it's rotated and traveling at, and, at different uh, at the same time, right? But in any given instant, you can always think about the velocity is just one axis, okay, which is characterized by this uh, uh, direction. And the motion can be think of or can be thought of as rotating about the axis and also moving around that axis uh, at the same time. Okay, that's, uh, that's one way to have uh, a unified way or standard way to think about rigid body motion. I'm not sure. How, how, how hard that can be understood. Daifeng, you have any questions? No, I'm, no? I'm good. Uh, that's good? Okay. All right. <clears throat> now let's think about, let's derive something about, since, okay, this is a motion. Let's just think about this screw motion, right? I'm rotating about a certain axis at a certain speed. Let's say, um, what if I'm telling you this, uh, what would be the twist or spatial velocity of this screw motion? Okay, that's the, that's the thing we are trying to uh, derive here. Okay. Now consider rigid body, because now we think all the rigid body motion as a twist, or, or sorry, as screw motion now, okay? Because that's a standard way to think about, or mathematically at least, to think about rigid body motion. Right in the space, in the space, you think there's an axis, there's some screw, and uh, this guy is instantaneously okay, instantaneously is moving along the axis and also also uh, rotate about that axis and move, also moves along that axis. Okay, let's think about that motion, and that motion is characterized by three things. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, let me move here, um, <clears throat> and also a speed. Also a speed, right? This these four things basically. And uh, I can describe this is a physical motion or a physical description of the, the motion. And what's the twist or what's the spatial velocity that correspond to this motion? Uh, let's derive it. Uh, and I will ask someone to derive it for me or with me. Uh, let's pick a let's pick a
Um, let's pick a, a frame. Let's call it A. Uh, there's some issue here. Hold on. Uh, uh hold on. Okay. Surface. Okay, we're back. All right. <clears throat> now let's pick. Let's pick a uh, frame. Then uh, let's say we have a, a screw axis like this, right? The axis is like hat, as hat, and there's a point on the screw axis which we can uh, we call it Q, right? This is our Q, and also. Uh, we know there's a pitch, um, pitch which is uh, which is uh, H here. Now let's think about how do we uh, derive the twist or spatial velocity about this motion. And first of all, it's a rigid motion, and we can we can definitely uh, find out the, the twist, right? And the one thing is easy to find out is the rotation, angular velocity. And now we pick the frame A, and then we need to represent angular velocity rotation like, uh, like uh, uh, in the frame A, which will be, in this case, the angular velocity, because it rotates, right? It rotates. And the angular velocity will be nothing but uh, the direction in A times uh, theta dot. That will be my angular velocity, right? And the key on the most difficult part is the is the reference velocity okay it's the origin or uh how to say is the body fixed point velocity cor cor uh, currently coincide with the origin of a right so that's the velocity it's 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 the only thing that we need to write down and uh, how do we write down this then we need to know uh i would encourage you to think about as i mentioned before always think about uh, coordinate free of uh, way of thinking. And uh, let's say, uh, let's write it down here. It's in coordinate, coordinate three derivation. Um, I know V of OA, okay? V of the body fixed point currently coincide with the origin of A equal to what, that one? Can you write that it down equals to the Q times theta dot. Q times theta dot. Oh, wait, H dot, <laughs> H times theta dot. O8 velocity, what's the, uh, think about this, okay? This is guy is moving, rotate, right? Rotate. So this motion is rotate. You think about this, there's some body fixed point currently coincide with this uh, A, right? what would be the velocity if this rotates? If it just rotates without pitch, what will be the body fixed velocity? Anyway, let's let's do this way. Sorry, guys. Let's do a simple way, okay? Uh, we know um, we can pick, let's say, let's say pick Q as reference point. As I mentioned, twist is nothing but using, uh, is a parameter JSON, right? And the Q as a reference point, we know any other body fixed point is linear velocity is always uh, VQ, the reference point linear velocity plus omega cross, this is all coordinate free, right? Cross what? Cross the distance. This vector, right? Yeah, this vector, yes. Yeah, this vector. So that will be, uh, let's call that Q to OA, 
this vector. Are you with, are you with me? This is okay, right? This is uh, the definition of, uh, of our permutation in terms of twist. Okay, now VQ, what's the linear velocity of VQ at this point? This point is on the rotation axis, so it doesn't really have any rotation motion, right? It only has a linear motion along the axis. And this linear motion is characterized by this pitch. So it will be uh, pitch times the, the ratio, okay, times this will be the scalar quantity tells you how fast this point is moving along that direction. And of course, you need to, this is the velocity, you need to times, times the direction vector, which is s hat, okay? And then times, uh, which is omega cross QOA, okay? QOA. All right, that's fine, right? And then we can use a coordinate, we can choose coordinate A to express this physics. Okay, that will give us uh, our desired uh, result, which is V of OA in A, uh, okay, equals, let's say this guy's a scalar, right? So I will say, um, h theta dot times s hat in a okay that's the first term plus omega a okay omega a cross q oa this vector right uh this vector is actually the negative of q in a so will be negative q in a because this is a point if you want to represent a point in the frame and uh, from A to Q is the is the vector you should use to represent Q in A, right? So overall, we will have, uh, overall I will have S hat in A times H theta dot uh, minus, which is minus now, right? Uh, minus uh, omega A cross cross uh, Q of A. Okay, that's the relation. So overall, I will have this quantity. Okay, this is the coordinate free quantity actually. This, uh, this result actually holds, I can choose this A, change this A to B, to O, to P, to whatever frame that we want to use. And this relation always holds. And we know uh, this guy is just the omega, by the way. Okay, that's exactly omega. If you choose a coordinate, any coordinate, you will have uh, the, the same expression as we did here. I'm not sure whether anyone have any questions. Okay, if I describe a physical motion, the motion is nothing but rotate, right? It's, it's, ro it's let's say this is square axis. I rotate and move along this axis. That's my motion. And uh, by motion is described as the four things, uh, the, the direction and the pitch and the point on the square axis and also the rotation speed, okay? And given these four parameters, I always can construct or find or compute the corresponding twist Okay, the twist has these two components, the angular uh, velocity component, also the, the, the linear velocity component of the, of the origin. Okay, uh, so we have a formula given a twist or screw motion, standard motion, screw motion, then we can find the twist. And also uh, given any twist, okay, we can always think of it as a screw motion that's the theory, right? And we can find actually uh, the corresponding screw motion characterized by these uh, four things, okay? Uh, there's the formulas, I don't want to derive them. Uh, so basically if you have, there's two, two things, right? If there's no rotation, that's a pure linear motion. There's no angular velocity, it's just pure linear motion. That's a special case of a, a screw motion. There's no rotation just uh, along that direction. That's a pure, oh, we have written this like this. Pure translation, that means pitch is infinity. 
and we can define p is infinity, q can be arbitrary, and uh, and uh, this uh, direction is just the motion direction, right? And the theta dot is nothing but the absolute value of the linear velocity or the norm of the linear velocity. Uh, a more standard, more general case is really you have a rotation axis, rotation motion. In this case, uh, the square axis direction is always aligned with the uh, angular velocity direction. And uh, uh, the rotation speed is just the, the norm of the angular velocity. And we can find this Q on the square axis and also pitch through these formulas. Okay, I will say you can plug in, plug, plug into the uh, equation on previous slides. Uh, to verify, to verify the result. What do I mean by verify the result? If you plug in to the previous slide, uh, you will see this will give you, if you choose this as Q, H, then the corresponding V and omega coincide with whatever uh, V and omega that you give, you, that, that are given, okay? So far we have learned, we can think about uh, any kind of reasonable velocity as traveling on, along a screw axis, okay, rotate the bus axis and also traveling along that axis. And we know how to change back and forth about, uh, we know the corresponding twist about the screw motion. And if you gave me a twist in any kind of uh, frame, I can also find uh, the actual uh, the actual screw axis. Okay, let's do an example. So here is what is the twist that corresponds to rotating about ZB with theta dot equal to two. Where's ZB? Okay, this one is ZB. Let's call this guy ZB hat. That's the direction of ZB. This is uh, almost like an arm, robotic arm with two kind of uh, axes. Okay, so the rotation of this guy around this B, uh, the ZB axis, we can find, this is a screw motion. All the reasonable motion is a screw motion. So this one is, of course, is also a screw motion. And uh, let's find out the, uh, <clears throat> the twist correspond to this screw motion. Screw motion is very easy to carry, right? right? Let's find out the, uh, in this case, let's pick, let's say first find the screw, screw. I don't think you need to go through this step, but at the beginning, let's try to find the screw or write down carefully about the screw axis. Uh, let's say what is S and the screw motion, the S is what, definitely. The S hat will be omega divided by the omega norm. Uh, where no omega, omega here. Uh, no, no, there's no omega. Uh, uh, we all given is here, uh, I1 uh -huh. and this Q, okay. And there's ZB is the direction we are moving, uh, we are rotating about. Uh, so, The screw axis will be, be just a ZB, right? This is just ZB hat. Yeah. Right? And uh, if I want to say that's the, well, let me think. Yeah, that's ZB hat. And uh, if I want to represent this in A frame, let's say in A frame, let's, for, let's choose A frame, okay? Let's choose A reference frame. As reference frame, then uh, this guy will be on um, the square axis in A would be ZB in A, which is what? Still um, zero, zero, one, right? So yes. A and B has the same uh, Z, the Z direction is the same. Okay, uh, let's say Q, let's say this Q, right? This is a Q in A, what is it, Stefan?
uh, the Q point Q will be zero zero L one zero. Uh, no, yeah, there's only L one, right? So there will be zero L one zero, right? You're yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's Q. Uh, what about pitch? H. H is a scalar. It doesn't matter with coordinate frame we are using. What is H? It. Q rotation. There's no. It's, it's zero. zero. Yeah. Okay, you just rotate. You don't rotate uh, and move at the same time. Just rotation and pitch is zero. Okay, that's basically, and I also mentioned how fast you rotate. See the dot is two, right? So basically, that's to describe a physical motion already. Okay, now we use this physical motion to find out what's the corresponding twist. Of course, you can directly compute twist by this physical motion, but we're try to think about everything in the standard screw motion way. So we can use, if you find those things, then we can use the, the, the formula we derived before to calculate that, okay? So first of all, omega A is nothing but S A hat, right? That's our uh, also times, times theta dot, right? So that will be uh, zero, zero, 002, right? Okay, that's the formula we derived. And the next one is uh, uh, V A, this O A, right? A frame. So this guy will be what? Think about this. V A is this zero piece, right? You don't move along that direction. So that guy is zero. So overall you have uh, zero minus omega A cross Q of A which is, uh, let's say, omega A cross omega A. What is omega A? This guy. So this 0, 0, 02 cross uh, QA. What is QA? 0, L1, 0, which gives us, oh, sorry, this is negative, right? I think this eventually gives us 2, L1, 0, 0. This is Z direction cross a Y with this negative x direction. And overall, I will have two L1 because there's a negative sign here, so they canceled out. So overall, we have a two L1, zero, zero. Any questions? Oh, and do you have any questions? No? Okay, good. Uh, now let's say, uh, what is screw axis for twist here? Uh, of course, then you can apply the formula. I don't want to go through that. Basically, if you see this, you will say, uh, I know omega is zero two two, right? We didn't say with coordinate uh, frame we're talking about. Maybe just by standard is uh, inertia frame O. And this V is uh, uh, four zero zero, and that's the two things. And use the formula. Uh, use the previous formula. Previous formula. We can find Q actually. You can find a point on the screw axis Q. And what's the definite? What's this is the Q right? Q is a cross. This is omega cross V divided by omega norm, two norm. Oh, sorry, norm squared, I think, yes. Norm squared. Okay, overall, I think, well, I will skip this uh, calculations. You can find the Q. Uh, you can see as long as this V and omega are not completely orthogonal, you will, you will have a, a point Q that is not on the, uh, uh, it's not in origin, right? It's not on origin. So uh, this will be some number. I don't want to compute. Uh, overall, I think there's a pitch and also uh, this guy is easy. This guy will be just the direction of the omega and uh, theta dot is the uh, norm of the omega, okay? All right. 
I'm not sure how much you can you can um, you you feel comfortable about twist now or or square axis now. Uh, basically, I still want you. If you feel confused, just think about uh, rotation, pure rotation, right? If you give me an angular velocity omega, you can think about this as what? You can always write omega equal to omega hat is a direction and times the speed moving around that direction, right? Where this is the unit rotation axis. Uh, similarly, a twist or spatial velocity, no matter what it is, if I tell you a spatial velocity, okay, you can, in your mind, okay, you should always think there's a school axis. It's the same thing as the rotation axis. And this guy is moving about that axis, not only rotating, but the rotate also move forward along that rotation axis. So with a little bit, um, how to say, abuse of notation, we will typically write like this. Our spatial velocity is twist times, this is the action, right? It, just think about this versus this. These two things are essentially the same. This is correspond to the unit speed about moving along that screw axis. And uh, this guy, theta dot, tells you how fast you move along that that square axis. So typically when we write like this, we'll, we'll how to say that? We'll, I will think about this as the twist spatial velocity. Let's say omega and the V thing, all right? Associated with the unit motion along that axis. I'm not sure how confused, uh, that confused me when I started learning this, by the way. I think some of you may feel confused as well. Think your mind, this is a, a twist direction. I'm oh, sorry, screw motion, screw axis. I'm moving around this at the unit speed, I will have a the screw axis, okay? And if I move faster about that uh, screw axis, I will, my speed will be scaled up, right? So overall, this uh, S hat will be the twist associated with a unit speed motion along the square axis. So often we will think, we'll draw analogy between these two expression. Okay, um, any questions? Okay. Uh... Then uh, if uh, no questions, I think we need all, you, you need maybe more exercise. Um, it's online teaching doesn't work well for this kind of abstract uh, concept, illustration. Uh, maybe we will do more homeworks later on to help you understand. Uh, let's see. If no further questions, let's move towards uh, next lecture.